Now, clearly the exhibition is not quite finished yet, but you must be feeling very excited that the objects are finally arriving. It's incredibly exciting because I've, I've seen these objects in their various houses in Naples and Pompeii and Herculaneum, and now they're here in London going up on the walls in the cases. It's amazing. How quite many amazing. objects do you have? There'll be over 300 by the time we put the smaller objects as well. And um, how long have you been working on the show? Uh, the actual project has taken over five years from first going over and looking at the objects, choosing them, uh, yeah, it's got to be more than five years. I'm stunned that there hasn't been an exhibition like this for quite a long time. Well, it's over 20 years since there's been an exhibition in London uh, on Pompeii, and there's never been an exhibition which does what this one does, which is to look only at the house. So that's what we see here, this architecture behind what us is a sort of mock-up of the Roman house. Exactly, we're giving people an idea of what it would have been like to walk into a Roman home and, and because we're focusing on domestic life, day-to-day -day life, we've got the luxury of exploring everything in quite some detail. Are there any firsts, things that people won't have seen before? Yes, there, there are some pieces that have never left Italy before, and indeed there are some pieces that have never been on display anywhere. Really? This is a premiere for some of the pieces that we're going to have in the show. They, they've not been seen even in Naples. Do you feel that the show is going to maybe transform the way people think about ancient Rome? I hope it will. I hope it will make them feel more comfortable with the Romans, because we, we are used to seeing the Romans as the emperor, as the gladiator, as the soldier. And of course, they were there and they're very important, we love them. Hmm. But 90% uh, of the population was us, ordinary people. And what this does is, is to look at the, if you like, the universal context, which is the home. Uh, most Romans went to the amphitheatre, most Romans went to the bath, but not all of them, whereas they all had a home. And that's why I wanted to set the exhibition in a home so we can explore all these different day-to-day -day things, normal things. And what are you hoping that people will, above all, get out of the show? I, I hope they'll get an appreciation that Roman society was wonderfully um, mixed. If you went into a Roman house, for example, there was a whole array of different things. That they'll get a sense of the wide variety of things that went on that really aren't that different to the things that we do every day in our houses. And I think that is the main thing to, to make the Romans seem a little closer to us, to, so that people, when they come away, they'll think, oh yeah, I've got an idea about a Roman house. And the Romans, they weren't that different from us, were they really? So that's what I want people to, I want to, get, to give, give the Romans a hug. <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs>